What up, tycoons? Coming at you today with another viewer request. All right, uh, we're gonna look at Phantom. All right, I do these viewer requests every week. So if you have any cryptocurrencies, stocks, maybe a strategy you would like me to explain, uh, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to do that for you as soon as I can. So we're gonna go ahead and bang the video out. What we're looking at, okay, is going to be the relative strength index. We're going to go over divergences in the chart, both, um, you know, we're going to show some bearish divergence, which is a leading indicator that you may see some bearish activity. And then we'll go ahead and give you guys the proof. All right. And we'll look at uh, some chart patterns. OK, most notably the head and shoulders pattern. And we'll also highlight the wedge pattern. Um, each one of these things are very easy to begin doing and spotting yourself. Uh, once you learn them, all right, so hopefully you'll learn a little bit in this video uh, and be able to help yourself, uh, whether, you know, looking for some more macro trends, all right? Now, when I say macro and micro, you'll see that there are smaller patterns, okay, leading more of a short-term trend change, um, and you can look to capitalize off of that. Or if you're more of a, uh, let's say, a bag holder, right, and you're wanting to know, all right, well, you know, should I be adding here? Or is there signs that things could be going lower and I should wait uh, for a lower position and then I can go ahead and add to my position there. So bearish divergence is the first thing we're going to cover. Um, it happens when there's a high and then a higher high created on the price action. OK, so this token phantom is going up in price here. But what we're seeing is a high here and a slightly lower high here. Now, there's multiple levels to divergence. Um, there's a, you know, what's called a slight divergence, all right, or a hidden divergence, or you could call it a strong divergence. Um, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to highlight the, the main fact of a divergence, okay? So when we're seeing the price action go up like this and the relative strength is not following, that's your first divergence. Um, and so when you create those higher highs and it's not creating higher highs here, that's a sign that there may be a drop to come, right? And we can take a look at these, uh, at the drop here, all right? Ended up being a 50% drop over here, down to those lows, 66%, and down here to those lows, 77%. So, you know, these are very good signs and signals that, again, you can start to use to help you along your journey. The next pattern that we'll look at is going to be the uh, the head and shoulders, right? Now, the, this is a chart pattern. Um, and the main thing you're going to look for, right, is you're going to try to identify a left shoulder, um, a head, and then a right shoulder, right? Once you start to see this forming, then you have the potential to reach the target back at the top of where the move started, right? And that would be a perfect play out of a head and shoulders, okay? So, you know, we did get that inverse head and shoulders right here. Uh, the inverse head and shoulders is bullish and the regular head and shoulders is bearish. A lot of times uh, when you get a head and shoulders, you tend to get a bearish divergence, right? So we'll go ahead and cover that right here and look at the next head and shoulders on the chart. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the RSI as well. So we're seeing our left shoulder. We're seeing our head. We're seeing our right shoulder. What's the relative strength index doing? Well, we're making a high here and a higher high here. We're making a high here and a lower high here. So, you know, maybe you miss this initial divergence, okay? But then after that, we form a head and shoulders. So, you know, you may have missed the first signal, but now you know, all right, well, if we're not able to break above these highs here and, and try to make new highs, right, higher highs, then this is setting up a very, uh, you know, notable head and shoulders and a very big move to the downside there. You know, if you were watching this play, uh, watching this develop, all right, that ended up being a 75% drop in a very, you know, short, relatively short amount of time, okay? Um, and then, you know, much more for the macro, right? I was speaking of the macro perspective earlier. Look at the time um, difference in this right here, okay? This was, you know, pretty long divergence. We have a, a high here, we have a higher high here, and then we have a high here and a lower high here. So this was a pretty long stretch of time. Um, and the longer it is, you know, the the stronger, all right, the potential move is going to be off of the indicator. And we can go ahead and look from those highs, all right, from these highs here, we can see that it was a very, very big move over 80% and dropping all the way down to about like 84, 84, 85%. All right. So that's what I mean by, you know, some of the micro and the macro, right? 
this was more of a little bit of the macro. We saw the big drop. We ended up dropping 70%. We have a little bit of a more micro uh, inverse head and shoulders here that you can play on um, and, you know, take your profits once the profit targets, once, you know, your targets are hit. The next thing we're going to look at, all right, is a wedge pattern. Now, the wedge pattern uh, is one of my favorites. It's pretty easy to identify. And there's two of them, right? There's a rising wedge and a falling wedge. A falling wedge such as this, you know, the price action is going to zigzag in between these trend lines until we get the breakout to the upside. And sure enough, we get a very strong breakout to the upside. All right. And that's really when Phantom went on its super, super mega rally. All right. I want to zoom in here again. And uh, you want to start to look for these divergences and be able to spot them. So not only did we have a bullish chart pattern forming here that we're eyeballing, all right, we're looking here, we're seeing it develop, but we're also seeing a low here, or I'm sorry, a high here, a higher high, and then another higher high. At these points, we had a high, lower high, lower high. So there's a divergence. We're creating lower highs, but actually higher highs on our, um, you know, relative strength index. So as this token price is dropping, the relative strength is actually increasing. You combine that with a chart pattern and we eventually get a very massive, massive move to the upside, right? And we end up forming um, another one of my favorite patterns known as the M pattern, right? And it's this big giant pattern right here. Now there were a few other patterns and tradable moves inside of this, but ultimately, this was a giant M pattern that came all the way back down to these lows that I think a lot of people weren't prepared for, right? They just either mentally uh, or, you know, in their crypto wallets. Uh, we'll zoom in a little bit more and look at some of the smaller patterns uh, that were available to trade in between there. And we're seeing yet again another inverse head and shoulders, right? We're able to identify now because we've been doing it for a little bit, looking at our left shoulder, our head. Our right shoulder, we're seeing the move starts up here. We're going to see if the move can come back up to those price levels. And sure enough, it does. Um, you know, the momentum continues there. But as it does, look at what we're doing. We're creating, again, a little bit of some uh, bearish divergence. So let's look at the chart now. What we're seeing here is um, a high right here at this moment. Okay, high here and a lower high here. But we're looking at the token price and we're seeing that it's just going up and up. So another divergence is there, another opportunity for you to uh, protect the trade, maybe get out of the play, or, um, you know, if you, if you want to, you can short. There's many different ways and strategies. Um, this isn't, you know, a financial advice video. Uh, this is more of just an educational on, you know, technical analysis, right? So, and another thing, you know, again, we're seeing the head and shoulders. We're seeing a chart pattern combined with divergence, right? We see a high here, higher high here. We have a high here, lower high here. Um, and, you know, once you are able to combine some of these things, then you can be even more confident in your move, right? Let's say you're not as confident in just the chart pattern uh, or just the divergence. But once you start to see both of them, um, then that's really going to help give you that confidence that you need uh, to make the move. OK, um, so we can go ahead and take a look at our next one. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> let's go over here to the macro again real quick and look from a macro perspective. And let's look at a little bit of a longer of a divergence, right? Where we have the high here, right? And then Phantom ran all the way up to here, right? So clearly making higher highs. We have a high there, lower high there. And that was another indicator of a big drop to come, right? And we can go ahead and take a look and uh, we'll draw that right now. Let me do that real quick. Okay, and look at how big this move was, right? Down 90 something percent from those recent highs. Uh, just devastating, right? They're really devastating for a lot of people's portfolios. Um, and hopefully this video can help you guys out. Um, you know, we have a little bit of a smaller divergence right here uh, that I have highlighted on the relative strength index. You know, we're making a high, higher high, high, lower high. And, you know, again, we see a dramatic move to the downside from there. All right. That was a 46 percent drop. 68% drop right there, just, you know, wherever you uh, prefer to finish the line drawing out. Now, what am I seeing on the most recent price action, right? There's still patterns out there. There's still tradable moves uh, happening in and out of this token. So, you know, we have a nice head and shoulders here. We've gone over that pattern a couple of times now. Uh, you should be getting more familiar with it. And, you know, we're going to look to see if it comes down and hits the, uh, you know, where the move started. We get those price targets hit. Uh, and then we look at the wedge pattern again, right? 
our good old wedge. Boom. This is a rising wedge. We discussed the falling wedge earlier. The rising wedge is going to imply a bearish move to the downside, right? And this was a near perfect play out. If we look at where the price level fell down to, right where the pattern begins, okay? So you may see it uh, fall to where it starts to begin on the top side, right? Those are good price targets or to the downside. Those are good price targets as well. What I'm seeing currently that I like is a little bit of some bullish divergence combined with a bullish chart pattern. So now that we've gone over divergence a little bit and you've made it this far in the video, make sure to smash the like button and I'm going to continue on. Okay. We have a low here. We have a low here. All right. We have a low here. We have a higher low here. And look at what we're doing. We're bouncing on this trend line very beautifully. We've tapped it many, many times. Now, the more you tap a trend line, the weaker it's going to get, right? So we're tapping this trend line here, 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 here. Eventually it may break. Okay. So you have to keep that in mind. The longer you test the trend line, the weaker it gets. So, you know, we're just now starting this trend line of this wedge pattern. We may get a rejection here or we may get a breakout because we could ride off of this bullish divergence momentum. All right. So you have to keep that in mind. Now, um, when you get the break and you see a large breakdown below this bullish divergence trend line, you're, you can expect to see a very dramatic drop in the price action of the token. So what we're looking for currently is we're going to look and see if this bullish falling wedge pattern is going to play out and possibly take Phantom back up to 0.35, even 0.40 over the next coming weeks or months. Or are we going to just, uh, you know, keep zigzagging down until we ultimately break this pattern and establish new lows um, or, you know, potentially we would have that breakout to the upside. Again, once you start to combine things like a bullish divergence, combined with a bullish chart pattern, uh, then you can start to look and have a little bit more confidence uh, in your trades and, you know, in your overall ideas and thesis um, instead of just, you know, kind of going in blindly and hoping that, all right, well, you know, it's kind of cheap right now, man, I'm gonna buy it. I hope it goes up. You know, at least this way you can be a little bit more educated uh, and feel a little bit more confident in some of your moves. And then you can analyze them over time and see, all right, well, you know, what's working for me, what strategies, what chart patterns, what divergences, what indicators uh, for me personally have really started to work. And once you do that, um, you're ready to join us. OK, the link to join the discord is in the description below. All right. There's me. You get the admin members. Uh, we're charting in there every single day. We're looking at the markets, letting you know what plays we're getting in and out of. Uh, and we, you know, we offer one-on-one -on -one coaching within the discord as well. So if you want to join and be a member of our team, the link to join the description, uh, or the link to join is in the description. Okay. Use code Zachly, like the channel name, Zachly trades. You'll get a discount on the membership and yeah, I'm out. Let me know if you got any requests. Again, I do them every single week.